y'all it's Tequisha from our freedom song and today it is all about the seeds it is all about the fall garden I'm so excited I cannot wait to share the seeds that we got to plant in the fall garden today I have done the legwork and I have figured out the best way to know what to plant and when to plant it because as beginner gardeners, it is kind of hard to figure out when we're supposed to be planting stuff. We're planting stuff out of season. We're planting stuff just because it's in the store and we don't realize that just because it's in the store does not mean that we can plant it right now. And so I have organized it in a way where I will know exactly what to plant and when. And so I'm setting myself up for success. I hope that if you're a beginner gardener, you will take time to look at that as well so that you can be successful with your garden as well. And we are gonna get this right. We are learning, we are growing, and it's exciting to learn and to grow. So I am heading into the garden to see what it is that I can harvest really quickly before I head inside and show you what I've been up to. This is cute. To show you what I've been up to in there as I've been organizing the the plans for the fall garden. It's very, very exciting. Woo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> she scared me. <laughs> Look how big she is. Say hi. <laughs> I just saw. Oh my goodness. It is a flower on our okra plant that's so cool i didn't even know they flowered barley is trying to see what she can snack on too oh this is this didn't break that is a jelly melon Just thinking about fall just makes me so excited. And so I have been racking my brain trying to figure out how to organize and plan the fall garden. Because let's be honest, for a beginner gardener, the, the back of these packs are like seriously like so confusing. <laughs> and I would have to say personally, I love the My Gardener packs because on the back they show you um that what is like um cold tolerant i love the pictures on the side versus the botanical interest packs they're just all information baby <laughs> all information on there like and so for me i really appreciate the pictures personally so what I've been doing is organizing these seeds by planting date because I don't want to just gather all my seeds up. See, like all of these are broccoli. Like these are broccoli. And I literally, when you look at the back of the pack of these, none of them have the same start date. And so that's confusing for me. <laughs> I'm going to organize it by date. By the date that I'm supposed to start my seeds. And so I am going to do that. And that's what I've been working through. And so I'm actually making a calendar based off of my seed dates. So yes, that's what I want to do. I want to show you 
how I'm organizing these seeds, as well as what I plan to plant in our fall garden. I'm so excited, y'all. Okay, let's get started. I started with my first frost date and my last frost date by going to the almanac. Okay, so it's very simple. You just go here. You can either search in that search box or from the front page, you can just keep scrolling all the way till you get down to the gardening section. Once you get here, you just click get your planning dates and then you are going to put in your zip code. This is going to give you the most accurate dates for planting and what you need to plant and when. Okay, so these are all the seeds I'm going to be sorting. They are not all for fall. I have fall and my spring seeds all here together. Okay, back to my first frost date and my last frost date. This is how I used it. As you can see on the back of these packs where it says recommended, that's where you want to start. I also want to note to make sure you read whether your pack says before your last frost date or after your last frost date. It can be worded very different, so just make sure you pay attention to that. This one says six to eight weeks before your average last frost date. So I wrote down my last frost date and then I went over to my calendar so that I can figure out what I needed to write. Here is another example. It says one to two weeks after your last frost date. So I went to my last frost date and I counted one to two weeks, well really two weeks after that. And I wrote that date down. I then did that for each of the groups that I had. One to two weeks, three to four weeks, six to eight weeks, I did them all. So I have to put a plug in for botanical interest because I didn't realize that they had a guide in there on how to read their seed packets. So that is very helpful. And that is, it, it was so simple to organize all of these seed packets by when they needed to be either started indoors or direct so. And so from January all the way through fall, I have each section already planned out. I will know exactly what I'm supposed to plant and when. This is so good for me. Okay, so I bought seeds from several different places, my garden, botanical interest, and I also found seeds on Amazon, like this one from Pinwheel Garden has a herbal tea blend that I'm so excited about, as well as this basil herb seed collection that has the eight different packs of seeds in there. I'm really excited about that as well because Y'all already know, I love me some basil. I really love the way the botanical seeds came packaged. I really love this box. Okay, let's talk about seeds. Savoy cabbage. We got the cabbage napa. The mammoth rock. The late flat Dutch cabbage and also some Brussels sprouts. I'm excited. These are the seeds that I need to sow like very soon. I have some bok choy as well as some pop choy. <laughs> I have several variations of broccoli. I won't be able to name them all. <laughs> I probably will not pronounce these the right way. So as you can see, I actually got two packs of those. Um, they look so cool. My favorite is this purple broccoli. I'm very excited about that. So I heard that parsnips take so long and on the back of the pack it said like four months. And so I have been trying to rack my brain on where to plant these, but I'm very excited about them. As well as rutabaga. I've never eaten a rutabaga 
and I have no idea about it whatsoever. So that's exciting and we absolutely love kale, so I can't wait. I'm so excited about these black carrots. Black is like my favorite color and so it just seems so cool to eat a black carrot. I got so many different variations of carrots. This is just gonna be such a fun experience. These little ones are so cute. I can't believe they take 65 days because they're so teeny. <laughs> but I have several carrots. This is the red core, um, I can't even pronounce that, and the cosmic purple. I actually got a couple packs of these because a purple carrot just seems so fun. Just one pack of beets. They are called the Golden Boy. My gardener sent me this complimentary pack of salad, and I also got some iceberg lettuce that I'm very excited about planting. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name, but I'm excited about this. Fall flowers, y'all. And then we have some black Spanish radishes. That's exciting. As well as some French breakfast. And some bartender red radish. I'm excited to taste the difference. Last but not least, we have some spinach. Although I won't be planting these for the fall garden, I'm so excited about all these different variations of basil. Miss Burns Lime sounds amazing. Thai, Spicy Globe, Sweet Genevieve's. Italian Large Leaf as well as lemon basil. Then we have some holy green lead and some dark opal. Very exciting. The back of the pack has clear directions on when to sow them, which I love. I'm really looking forward to having a tea garden. I wanna have a medicinal garden as well as a tea garden those are probably going to be interchangeable because all of these are medicinal and so i'm very happy about this i'm hoping to plant it right in the middle inside of our blue raised garden bed So I love, love, love how visual the backs of the packs are. I took a rubber band and rubber band them together and used this box as a little file cabinet. Cause y'all know I like to reuse things and this box is sturdy. And so it works out perfectly. So I also have these plastic containers, which I will probably end up using. I just really wanted to use the box because it's available and it's a nice filing cabinet for my seeds for right now. Okay, so that is what we have going on. I'm about to go out. I need to get some soil, some bag soil so that I can go ahead and pot up my seeds because I need to do that as soon as possible so that I can make sure that I am staying on a schedule. I'm just so excited about a fall garden and with all these things, thinking about fall and all the things, it's just making me want fall that much more. Like I am always excited about fall, but this year I think I'm a little bit more excited about fall than I typically am. And I'm so happy about my boots because 
these bad boys are going to carry me into the fall they are so comfortable and they are so cute i'm so grateful to high c for sending them to me originally i had the rain boots y'all know my chicken boots that are so cute and i was telling you that they're very narrow and i was hoping to get some garden boots because i love their garden boots and so i was so grateful that they sent me these garden boots and you guys can have them too i will put a discount link down below if you want to order you some boots these boots are going to be fantastic in the fall and i'm going to wear them with all the things and so i'm excited about that i'm going to go ahead and get out of here and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for tuning in talk to you later